I have been muted this whole time. Sorry about that. I was talking and you couldn't hear me. I was on mute. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll go ahead and just do my spiel over again. So thank you for joining us. Uh, sorry about the technical difficulty there. My name is Andrea Kennedy and I work with the City of Mountain News Rent Stabilization Program. We're going to be having a presentation in person and on Zoom talking about how to apply for below market rate housing. So with us from the city's housing department, we have Anna Reynoso, who will be giving our presentation. And we have Anna Jimenez, who will be doing our Spanish translation. So if you're joining us from the Zoom, you can still ask questions um, by raising your hand if you want to speak your question verbally, or you can type your question in the chat in the Q&A, and I'll go ahead and read the question to Anna to answer. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'll let Anna take over. Thank you, Andrea. I appreciate that. So, um, good afternoon. My name is Anna. I work with the City of Mountain View Housing Department, and one of the programs I help to oversee is the Below Market Rate Program. Um, and today, I'm going to give everybody an overview of the process. And after I talk, I'm always going to give a few moments for Anna Jimenez to kind of. Buenas tardes a todos. Mi nombre es Ana Reynoso. Trabajo para el Departamento de Vivienda y soy una de las personas que uh, entra en el programa de CMR, que es vivienda con precios por debajo de la comunidad. All right, so we're going to go ahead and maybe not use the clicker. <laughs> um, can you help me, Andrea? I'm a little frozen here. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Okay, so today we're really going to be focusing on the BMR rental program. Uh, we do have an ownership program, but there'll be classes for that later on. But today we'll be strictly uh, about the rental program. Uh, today we're going to talk about where you can find information on the available units how to move forward in the in the process. And um, also we're gonna talk a little bit about our third party administrator, House Keys, who we work with to administrator, administer the program. And we're also gonna talk about kind of what are your options if you find or discover that a BMR unit is not right for you. También tenemos el programa que es para compra de vivienda por medio del programa BMR, pero para esta, uh, para esto vamos a hacer unas reuniones en el futuro. Vamos a, a también queremos avisarles que si usted revisa que este programa no es necesariamente para usted, también puede entrar al enlace que está mirando en la pantalla para uh, información de vivienda asequible y también les vamos a explicar un poco cómo avanzar con el proceso de BMR y hablar un poco de el, de cómo se convirtió House Keys en el administrador para el programa BMR. ¿Y qué hace el programa, el programa BMR para ustedes? Right. Right. So, overall, I've kind of put all of the steps needed for you to move forward with the BMR on the, on the page there. Um, Step one is obviously you want to review current opportunities available to determine which is the one you want to apply. Um, on each one of those opportunities, there will always be a document called the opportunity drawing notice, which will have income minimums and maximums, right? Uh, and um, you would have to review your household income to ensure it's between the minimum and the maximum. Uh, when you're talking about gross income, you're talking about anybody 18 or above in the household that earns some sort of income, okay? And if your income is in range, you're going to want to create uh, your account at myhousekeys.com. Primero les vamos a hacer un repaso de los pasos para tomar, para determinar si usted es libre para las viviendas BMR. Vamos a también ustedes pueden estar revisar el sorteo de oportunidades 
y revisar cuáles son los ingresos mínimos, ingresos máximos. Estos son para todas las personas en la vivienda mayores de 18 años. Y eh, no, también hablando de los ingresos, deben de ser los ingresos brutos, que vienen siendo los ingresos antes de pagar sus impuestos. All right, so here we have a chart, right, that shows different income ranges along with household size, right? So when you're looking at units available, you will see that sometimes the units have income ranges, right? They'll say this, this unit is for people 50 to 80% of the area median income, right? Which if you look here at the county, these are for uh, the uh, county, they're, they're calculated by the state, but for a family of four to be considered 50% of the area median income, you have to make 84,250. For that same family to be considered at 80% of the area median income, they can make no more than 131,700. Por ejemplo, una familia de ingreso mediano del área del 50% y son una familia de cuatro, debe ingresar 84 mil dólares. Y si la familia está en el 80%, entonces debe ser 131 mil. So what that all means is that if you see an opportunity and the opportunity says your income needs to be between 50 and 80% of the area median income, that means that for the you know, <laughs> this household of four, right, for that unit, the minimum income would be 84,250 and the maximum income would be 131,700. <laughs> que es um, usted es una vivienda de cuatro usted debe de ganar uh, si las oportunidades de 50 por ciento debe de ganar el 82 84 mil mínimo y no más por el 56 and same concept applies for the hundred to hundred and twenty-two. El mismo concepto aplica si estamos hablando de una unidad que tiene el 100 por ciento de ingreso mediano o al 120. All right, so here we have some additional steps, right? So after you review the opportunities, you determine which one is the one that you would like to move forward with and you've created your My House Keys account, you've gone online, you've entered the opportunity drawing, you need to set aside time to complete and submit the application now. Um, if for some reason you cannot find it online or have a hard time downloading it, um, you can reach out to me. My contact information will be at the end of the presentation and I can email that to you directly or I can print it and mail it to you, right? So there's the application packet and then the document checklist, which is the checklist of all the documents you need to gather um, and submit, right? Uh, once you gather all the documentation on the checklist and submit the documentation, then it goes into processing, right? Um, again, we do have on our city website that I do host monthly webinar calls uh, where I walk people through this process and take you guys to do virtual tours of how to do it um, so that you guys can get a sense of how to upload electronically. Entonces, el primer paso es crear una cuenta. El segundo paso es elegir la vivienda que, uh, que sería adecuada para su familia. Después es encontrar la lista de documentos y cargar todos estos documentos a su archivo de, de su cuenta. También ustedes pueden mirar un enlace en donde uh, ahí tenemos información sobre las um, reuniones que hacemos por Zoom y ahí les damos un repaso virtual de cómo llenar su solicitud. Um, All right, so now, again, this is the healthkeys13.com website. Uh, I'm going to move a little bit closer to the computer here just so I can get in here and do a little bit of a tour. Is that okay, Andre? Okay, I won't be able to do the full detailed tour that I usually do, but it'll give you guys an idea. So again, house keys, they are a third-party administrator. 
they actually went into contract with us in 2001 to help us administer the program. So they designed a web page, housepiece13.com, just dedicated to the city of Mountain View below market rate program. Vamos a hacer un repaso. No tiene toda la información que regularmente hacemos en las llamadas informativas. Pero les vamos a mostrar rápidamente uh, lo que es la página principal de Housekeeping y cómo crear una cuenta. Okay. So if you look here, uh, this is the city of Mountain View. And if you go up here to the upper right hand corner, you're going to see these three lines. Um, you click on it, right? And there's lots of different menus. But if you go to where it says rental opportunities, right? you're gonna see a drop down of all the opportunities that are available, right? Um, for Because I'm just walking you through the process right now, I'm gonna show you guys um, Anton Ladera, right? So if you look here, oh, oh it's not showing? Oh. Mm -hmm. The screen? All right, hopefully everybody can see that one. Since it was showing up on the screen, I thought everybody could see, I'm sorry, my, my apologies, right? So I'll go back to the beginning. Uh, let me just punch in here. Uh, so housekeys13.com, if I can spell it right. So housekeys13.com, that is the website dedicated towards the City of Mountain View BMR program. Um, again, this is where you're going to find information on the units that are available. Go ahead. <laughs> Esta página de housing13.com es la página que está dedicada al programa BMR. Uh, cuando ustedes entren aquí, es en donde van a mirar las oportunidades de posteo. So, if you see up here um, in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see these three lines. Um, if you click on them, you're going to see a drop down menu. All the, all the menu options have a lot of information for you to review. Uh, again, today is just an overview to give you a sense of where to find the information, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit, um, go to rental opportunities. And you can see all the, these options that are gonna appear, which is what are the different kind of projects that uh, are available and have recently been available. En esta página principal, a la mano derecha, miraron las tres líneas. Cuando usted le hace clic, va a entrar a la, a la página en donde le va a dar mucha información. Pero si entra, por ejemplo, a Rental Opportunities, esta viene siendo la página en donde usted puede mirar las unidades que están disponibles de sorteo para venta. Ok. So, for purposes of example today, I'm going to show you guys Anton Ladera, Opportunity Drawings 361, right? So whenever you're looking at a BMR or looking to apply, you're going to want to memorize this opportunity drawing number because this is going to be the number that you will be asked for. And that later on, when you go to your My House Keys account, you're going to want to uh, apply for. Go ahead. Cuando ustedes entran a la unidad que está disponible, aquí ustedes están interesados, es importante recordar el número del sorteo, ya que ustedes van a crear una cuenta y ese va a ser el número que ustedes van a poner en la aplicación de la unidad que ustedes están interesados. Yeah. So here you see every opportunity has the web pages uh, set up pretty much the same way. It'll have the name, the opportunity drawing number, a little description, the address, and it'll always have complete instructions, right? So you always want to take the time to review all these instructions because it has a lot of good information for you to also refer back to, right? So if you look here, you can see there's always a picture of the project, the address, the monthly rent amount, 
some basic information, minimum and maximum gross income, it'll tell you, right? And then it'll tell you if there's an application fee, if you are selected, right? Um, and also to keep in mind that it'll give you under general information, it'll tell you when the opportunity became available, that's the release date. Oh, go ahead. Esta página es importante porque les va a dar información general de la unidad. Por ejemplo, les va a dar el número de la oportunidad de empleo, le va a dar instrucciones, le va a mostrar una fotografía de cómo se mira la propiedad, también la dirección, cuándo van a cobrar de venta, si ustedes eligieron cuánto le van a cobrar de depósito, y también le va a mostrar uh, el ingreso que debe ser el mínimo y el máximo. Y también muy importante es la fecha de límite para usted entrar al sistema. So again, under general information, it'll always say the release date. So when the opportunity became available, when is the deadline to enter the drawing, right? So the deadline to enter the drawing, that is the deadline for you to go to your account and enter the drawing so that you could be part of the opportunity drawing, also known as the lottery. It would also tell you when the results will be posted and when you must submit a complete file. I will say this, I always tell people it is best that right after you enter the opportunity drive, you begin to complete your application, gather your documents and upload your file. Do not wait for that, for, for that date to submit. Uh, fue disponible y también el, la fecha al límite para ustedes entregar una solicitud completa. Yo les puedo dar el consejo de que es mejor cuando ustedes entran a la oportunidad de sorteo tener todos los documentos archivados, ya que es más um, complicado que los eleccionen y no tengan uh, todo ya en su, en su uh, cuenta. So now I also want to explain what happens in the case that you miss the deadline um, but you're still interested. If you miss the dead, deadline to enter the opportunity drawing, but you're still interested, you can still go into your My House Student account and enter, right? You will just be considered a backup applicant, right? Which means that if, if House Keys reviews everybody who entered the lottery and they still cannot fill all the units, then they will go down the list of backup applicants. Right now, all the opportunity drawings that are open um, are accepting backup applicants. Um, ahora en este momento la solicitud, las solicitudes que se, se entregaron y que ya se cerró la, la fecha límite están aceptando solicitantes secundarios. Okay, the other thing I want to bring to your attention on this page is that every opportunity has a document called an opportunity drawing notice. And right now we have them posted in English, they're posted in English and in Spanish. But if you hit this button that says opportunity drawing notice, you will see that a document comes up. Hopefully everybody can see that PDF document still, right? But if you scroll down, right? Because this is the document that will give you all the additional information, like what's the square footage, what floor it's on, those types of things, right? And if you look here on this first page of the document, it will tell you dollar amount, what is the income minimums and maximums based on your household size? Right? Uh, cuando usted entra al, al botoncito verde que les acabamos de mostrar, que es un aviso de oportunidad de sorteo, va a tener información de qué tamaño es la tiene la unidad, uh, en qué piso está la unidad. Y en esta página, que es la primera página, cuando usted entra, va a mostrar el ingreso mínimo y el ingreso máximo. Okay. Um, definitely, there's lots of information on the units, like if water and dryer is available in the unit, 
parking spaces assigned, what's included in the amenities, what's not. This one has a fitness center, a clubhouse, those types of things. Um, it, it tells you if tenant insurance is, or if renter's insurance is, is required, right? It'll give you all the information. Um, it will also tell you here, it'll reiterate the application process for you. So you can refer to it. And it'll also say your, your options to upload a full file, right? So to submit your file, you can either A, upload the file into your My House Keys, um, dot com account which um which is the quickest way or if you want to do it by mail you'll have to send it in with tracking a tracking number and those are the instructions for that and please remember if you mail it mail copies of all documents Okay. All right, so now I'll go back to the presentation. Okay, now here, this is the myhousekeys.com portal. Um, this is where you create your online account to enter the opportunity drawings and submit your file. So this is going, when you create an account, this is going to be your account forever and ever. So if it turns out that you do not get selected for this unit, and in the future you want to apply for another unit that becomes available, you're going to log into the same account. So um, remember your passwords. Remember your passwords. Um, because if you forget your password, you have to go through the reset password. Ahora les vamos a mostrar el portal de cómo se crea la, la, uh, la solicitud. Uh, la cuenta, perdón. Es importante que recuerden su contraseña, ya que la página no la va a recordar. Y, por ejemplo, si ustedes entran a un sorteo y no son elegidos, ustedes pueden entrar a otro sorteo uh, por medio de esta página. Y la, la, la cuenta no va a guardar la contraseña. Yeah, yeah. Es la misma cuenta si tienen usted la otra. The other thing I will remind people is that your username is going to be your email. Please use an email that you check frequently, okay? Because house keys, again, um, when they reach out to you, they will reach out to you first via email. But the other thing you have to remember is that when you enter the opportunity drawing, when you, whatever you do in the software, you will be sent confirmation emails, right? So if you upload documents into the system, you will be sent confirmation email, emails to your email. So please make sure, right? Um, and when you create your account, you will be sent a confirmation code to your email. So again, please make sure to check not just your, your inbox, but your spam folders and use an email to check on a frequent basis. También es importante recordar que para el document from you, they will first reach out to you via email and give you 72 hours to respond. So this is why you want to be, after you enter an opportunity drawing, you want to be checking on a regular basis. Es importante que revisen sus correos, porque si, por ejemplo, Housekeep necesita información adicional, les van a dar 72 horas para responder, y es por eso que es importante estar revisando los correos para cualquier información que les mande. 
Um, and just a reminder on the My House piece, again, I hold monthly information calls where I go through the process and walk you through a test of confidence. But I do want to talk a little bit about, oh, do you want to translate that for me? También un recordatorio que hacemos reuniones de llamadas informativas. En esta página ustedes pueden entrar y revisar las fechas que tenemos la próxima. So, um, so, I know some people may have the question of what do I do if I do not qualify for the below market rate program, right? So if you do not qualify for the below market rate program or you don't think you do based on the information provided today or you don't meet the income minimums, um, I would highly recommend that you uh, sign up to be on our affordable housing interest list or you can call the number on your screen. Um, there's the link. Uh, so usually what we do is that that affordable housing interest list, will all, we will also send emails and information about other projects um, that, that, that are separate from the VMR program. If you think that the department of the program VMR is not qualified for based on the ingresos. Tenemos también, les aconsejamos que ustedes pueden entrar a la lista de interés de la ciudad para vivienda asequible. También se les estaría enviando información de otros programas que no están relacionados con el programa mismo. So, I'll give everybody a minute to screenshot that if they want. Um, so, I guess now I'll definitely take uh, questions and answers from anybody. You can also type in your question in Spanish. Se puede escribir en español. And there's a question asking if uh, someone's applying for a backup spot, uh, how fast do they have to put in their document? I would say um, as quickly as possible, right? Because uh, they can move to the backup applicant process applicants pretty quickly. Um, and so you want to make sure you have all your information covered. <laughs> Uh -huh. For example, I saw there a while ago mm -hmm. that we are uh, that our income mm -hmm. is uh we get more than nine three mm -hmm. and we already saw the amount for one to for two seventy one. Yeah. yeah. So is it does it does it include the utilities in the amount for the rent? For the rent, I I think for land fee, uh I don't think I'm not sure utilities are owned. Let me just double check the, so if we go, and this will be a good practice for everyone. Here, rental opportunities, let's check Lansby. Oh, I broke it already, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I told you it was, it was a good idea to have you. <laughs> Technologically challenged. Give us a moment while we make sure Everybody online can see. <laughs> so, all right. So, again, I'll do that one more time. So, uh, the question was regarding does Lansby include utilities or what utilities? So, I'm going to show everybody where to find that information. So, we go to the sandwich board, we go to rental opportunities, we go to Lansby. We're going to scroll down and we're going to pull up the opportunity drawing notice. That takes us to the doc this document here. And so we can scroll down. Uh, this one's pretty long because there are, there are units for um, both low and moderate income here. But if you go where it says uh, utilities included in the rent, none. So the rent does not include utilities here. So it'll, so again, this is why it's really um, important to see uh, all the information on the opportunity drawing. Okay. 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 
ella está mirando que uh, ellos califican, pero quiere saber si los servicios públicos van a estar incluidos. Entonces, nos hicimos que fuimos a la, a la página principal, a donde están las tres rayitas, la, um, las propiedades que están disponibles para el sorteo. Y entrando a la, a la página, estamos mirando que dice que no están disponibles. Entonces, es importante mirar esta página para mirar a todos los detalles de cada unidad. Once again, each, each, each one that's available here will, um, will have a button that says opportunity drawing notice. And if you hit it, you'll see that document that has all that, all the detailed information. I, I saw there that the deposit for the one bedroom is 500. So if you want two bedrooms, you will add another 500. So what I would say is if you want to know exact information, one of the things on the opportunity drawing is if you scroll down at the bottom, it'll give you the information of property management and the property management for the property can give you the exact dollar amount. And the question is, if this property, for example, says that the deposit is 500 dollars, I'm interested in a unit of two cameras, and if it's the price, if you go down to the bottom of the page, you can see that there's also the number of the telephone of the administrators of the building, and you can call them and ask them any question. And you can also see there that it actually says security deposit for two bedrooms is 700 dollars. And you can see the information of the deposit for two cameras is 700 dollars. I always say 90 percent of the questions um, that people have about the units are can be answered on the opportunity drawing notice. El 90 percent of the questions that the people have can be answered in the in the the opportunity drawing notice. All right. So again, we're trying to be better about posting those in both English and Spanish. So that that would be Lansley, right? And so what again, if by some reason the units get filled up, right? You will see a note on here that says all units have been filled, right? And if you entered that opportunity drawing and were not selected, you will get an email that says the drawing has closed and you have been released. Cuando las unidades se rentan, usted le va a recibir un correo en donde va a tener un aviso y le van a decir estas unidades ya han sido alquiladas y usted ya puede entrar. O sea, usted puede salir de esa oportunidad porque ya se rentó y puede, tiene la oportunidad de entrar a otra. The, the web pages will also be updated to let you know all the units have been filled. Y la página también va a ser actualizada para darles la información cuando las... Um, so yes, um, uh, you can do that either through your My Housing account. Um, you can look on the page right here and look for each one. Or the CSF team has a wonderful chart here. And I can read off to you which are the opportunity drawings available. So before I read those off, I'll let uh, I'm a friendly. Um, the question is, can we? There's a way to find the list of the opportunities for for rent. And the answer is yes. You can go to my house key. Or also, we have in the library a list of opportunities that are available for sale in the moment. Uh, if we have a few minutes, I'll go. Can I click there? Then? Okay. So the first, and keep in mind, right now, all of the opportunities available are currently accepting backup applicants because the lottery has already happened and the ranking has already happened. Um, so the B is the number that I get the package. Uh, so yes, so yes, so a lot of these. Um, Projects are are luxury apartments. So the city of Mountain View, part of the BMR program, is that when the developer builds, they have to designate a certain percentage of the units into the program. So that's how. But yes, that's that's correct. That's why the you see places that like the dean that have multiple pools. You know, right? yeah. La pregunta es, um, es lo que estamos mirando es que las propiedades son de lujo y 
Sí, en la, los programas, la ciudad uh, tiene que las personas que, las que están desarrollando sus viviendas tengan las oportunidades para las personas que tienen uh, bajos ingresos y designen ciertas unidades para que sean accesibles a, a otros yeah. Por ejemplo, pueden mirar que algunas de las uh, unidades tienen dos albercas. Son muy bonitas. Or they have a gym or a sauna or a dog park. They, they have different amenities. Uh, a lot of them have the washer and dryer in the unit, which is nice. So I'm going to go because we have a few minutes um, through what's, what is currently accepting DACA ballots, right? One minute. Uh, in that case, uh, I will go to DMR. Well, you do the cap for attending screening process. You need some sort of income, right? Because with the DMR program, there is a minimum income, right? So, especially when the property manager puts you through the tenant screening process, depending on the project, they want to see you either have two or two and a half times the rent in order to fall. So, that's part of the quality. La pregunta es, ¿qué pasa si yo no tengo ingresos? Uh, y la respuesta sería que para vivir en una de estas viviendas se le necesita mostrar los ingresos, ya que usted va a pasar por la revisión de la administración de la propiedad y van a querer que usted gane mínimo de dos veces a dos veces y medio de la cantidad de lo que es la red. So, all right. So, now we have a few minutes. So, I'm going to click through the opportunities that are available. Vamos a mirar los opciones que están uh, disponibles. So, 361 is a one bedroom, one bath unit. Anton Ladera currently accepting backup bathroom. Anton Ladera is the opportunity We have opportunity drawing 349, also at Anton Ladera, a one bedroom, one bath unit, also accepting backup applicants. Okay. The dean with opportunity drawing uh, 218 and 219 studio and one bedroom units is also accepting backup applicants. Okay. Now we have this is one of our newer projects, our Lansby Mountain View. They are accepting backup applicants for all the opportunity drawings, both one and two bedrooms for both the low and moderate income. What I will add is that if you see, uh, if you do not see anything that you're interested in, or those types of things, I will I would recommend you create your My House Keys account to have that ready to go for when an opportunity does become available. Yeah, because keep in mind from the date an opportunity opens to the deadline to enter the drawing, you get about two weeks to enter the opportunity. El momento que se abre la oportunidad de sorteo, le dan dos semanas para entrar a la oportunidad de sorteo. We, do, we will have some in the future. We're just not, uh, I don't have the details on it. So, and I don't know what the bedroom size is or what size. For purchase? Uh, for, for rent. Rental. We'll have some future ones available for rental. We'll have some some homes for purchase available. Um, maybe from now through December, one or two, not a whole. Yeah. What would you say the new I think after you enter the drawing between everything? Um, 
I'm going to say it, 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 it depends, right? Um, on it. But if the file is complete, it is clean, and there is nothing that needs to be explained, no back and forth, it can be minimum 45. Minimum 45. Just keep in mind, the file has to go to help it to reduce it and underwrite it for program eligibility. And then there's also the 10 inch screen box, right? But if you are selected, you can work with health fees and health care will also work with property management and stuff like that to determine who's going to make where they'll end up. La pregunta es: ¿Cuánto tiempo toma? Digo que si uno entra a la oportunidad de sorteo, a uno poder jugarse. Y esto depende mucho, pero es importante tener un archivo completamente con todos los requisitos. Y yo diría que el mínimo sería alrededor de 45 días. El house va a realizar su solicitud y después va a ser enviada para que sea realizada por la propiedad. Y de ahí ya comenzamos a trabajar en conjunto. ¿Alguna pregunta? Well, thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Hopefully, the information was helpful. And if you have any questions, you can definitely reach out. Muchas gracias. Y menos si tienen alguna pregunta. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and end the webinar. We will um, be mailing, emailing a copy of the recording and the presentation um, to everybody on the Zoom. And if anybody in person wants a copy of the presentation recording as well, just give us your email. And we can send that to you. Um, other than that, we appreciate you for coming. Just a reminder, we are here in person at the library every first and third Thursday of the month, where we have our housing and eviction help center. So if you have any questions about your housing needs, you can come see us in person, or we are also on the video hall from one to five. All right, thank you so much and have a great rest of the day. Great, thank you.